What's up everyone? This is Lucas Berry here for Wide Open Real and I've got my uh, lovely girlfriend Sarah with me. We just came out of Raynell, West Virginia. We were chasing, we actually came down here just to see what we could see. But we ended up coming out with a lot more than we bargained for. You got a nice waterfall. I did. And uh, it wasn't we, even suspected or expecting it either. It just no, happened. It just, it's been raining a lot here recently, so I yes. think that kind of helped you out a little bit. I think so. And I, well, I guess we, but mostly me, got a loaded coal train on the CSX Rupert subdivision and then it eventually made its way up with the CSX Sewell Valley subdivision. Yes. This is the, the line runs down to the river sub at Meadow Creek, West Virginia, where it goes to places who knows where. But uh, it serves a mine up past Rupert, West Virginia. Actually, near Angie, West Virginia is where this mine is. We went up that way, saw the line. It's a beautiful piece of railroad. It really is. It's it is an absolutely spectacular piece of railroad. But there weren't any trains running on it. We come back. We saw a uh, a coal train coming. We saw a loaded bunch of coal cars on a siding in town, and we thought, okay, that's cool. Didn't know where, where, where they were. What they were. Didn't know what they were going for. So we just decided to head on out to Angie and see what we could see. Came back and I saw the engines. And at that point, I turned the scanner on, heard them say something, and I knew we were getting ready to go. Yes, we had actually went up to Glen. No, I was getting ready to say Glen Jean, but Angie, because we were going to see if they were going to bring another cut of coal down. And uh, of course, you know, we didn't get anything. We didn't go to the uh, mine either, really, all the way up to the end of the line. But just happened to look out and there it was. Yep. Got what we wanted, got what we came for, and uh, all in all, just a really cool day. Yeah. So please enjoy our presentation of CSX Coal near Raynell, West Virginia on the yeah, CSX like Sewell it. Valley Subdivision. We were on the former Nicholas Fayette and Greenbrier Railroad. The NFNG is interesting in that it was nothing more than a paper railroad that was owned by the Chesapeake and Ohio and the New York Central, for both use of their equipment. Nowadays, trains only load out about once or twice a month, so this is a really nice catch. NFNG survived the Penn Central and Chessie system eras and lasted from 1929 to 1996 when CSX and Conrail filed an application to dissolve the railroad with the Surface Transportation Board and the NFNG was split between them.
We decided to chase it for a while out of town and came to this spot on the side of the road. I set up on an embankment one to get a shot not at track level, and I think it worked out. We got one more shot before heading home. You can really hear those two GEs working hard to get their training down the mountain. This is mountain railroading at its finest. Loaded coal on a forgotten subdivision deep in the backwoods of West Virginia. It does not get any better than this. We didn't chase it all the way down to Meadow Creek, although I would like to at some point. This was definitely a fun chase though, getting a chance to see a different part of the CSX system, one that I've heard about for a long time and never actually seen in action was really cool.
We end our trip with this guy, a former CNO caboose on display in downtown Raynell. It was brought here after a group of Raynell High School alumni bought it from CSX and restored it to his chassis system appearance. If you listen closely, you can still hear the echoes from the past on this quiet little branch line. Thanks for watching our video. Hit the like button if you liked it, subscribe down below, and comment if you are so inclined. Please share it with your friends. If you have anyone, I guarantee you you'll have someone that will like this video somewhere in your friends group. If everyone knows the real thing, they don't, even if they don't know it yet. Yeah. So until next time, somewhere out here on the railroad, this is Lucas Berry and Sarah Coleman for a White Oak Rail.